Today, I'm going to be testing the ISO speed and the exposure latitude of Harman Direct Positive paper. Join me. All right, everybody, welcome back. Good to see you again. The other night, I took some Harman Direct Positive paper and I wanted to test the speed of it. Actually, I wanted to test the exposure latitude of it, but what I ended up doing was doing more of a speed test. And we're going to go into Photoshop and we're going to look at those right now. So this first one, I rated all these images at ISO 2. And what you can see on this first one is it's a little bit good and you can see some of the highlights starting to blow out just a little bit, but not much. This is definitely a usable image. And this was rated at ISO 2 and this was with full power on the flash unit. So at full power on the flash unit, this should have been overexposed by a stop and a half. But just looking at it, this does not look overexposed by a stop and a half at all. It looks almost right on. And then going over to number two, you can start to see that this is, it's usable. You know, it's got enough data that you can work with it in Photoshop. But as a whole, it's it's just not looking that good. And this was taken at half power, so one, one stop less. And then coming over here, uh, this has just nothing. There, there's nothing here. I mean, there's a little bit here, but, you know, effectively nothing. This is not a usable picture. I can try to, let me do a camera raw filter here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Please tell me go away it's like I've never done Photoshop before I'm doing the job to a computer program. Uh, so, I mean, that just, just come on. I mean, that's two stops up. I mean, I, you know, I guess I can start messing with tent and just all kinds of stuff, but no, that's, that's not a usable. Yes. That's not a usable image. And so this should have only been about a half a stop underexposed, but no, this, this is pretty substantially underexposed. So with this one being pretty close to right, and then this one, the second one being a little bit under what I'm thinking is with flash, with this specific flash unit, if I'm going to keep doing this, this paper is going to have to be rated at ISO one rather than ISO 2, because then that would put this at about a half a stop overexposed based on where I had it. And then this would be a half a stop underexposed, but look at how the, the blacks in the image are changing. I mean, th this is a substantial amount that looks like more than one stop. And then this definitely looks like more than one stop. So what I'm experiencing with this Harman paper is not only does it, it obviously takes a lot of light. We know that. I, I knew that going in. But because of the flash, you have to meter it differently. And that's honestly the same as the Ilford ortho photographic film. It's your 35 millimeter or your 120 film. That it has an ISO rating that is one stop less when you're indoors in like a tungsten lighting condition. So I think that's what I'm dealing with here. If you're outdoors, you know, in the light or even indoors where there's some ambient light, you can rate this paper at about ISO 2. If you're in the evening where basically all you have is just the flash power, I believe this paper needs to be rated at ISO 1 shooting with flash. And also definitely have to be aware that this paper falls off a lot. It does not have very much latitude because this is one stop different. This image right here, image number two, 
this is one stop of light difference from this. And I mean, we can just think to images that we've shot, whether they're digital or film, this is not one stop of difference in the exposure. This is much more relative to how it's coming out on the paper. And this is definitely starting to look like more than two stops underexposed. Actually, not even two stops. This would only be one and a half stops underexposed using ISO 1 as the number. So definitely something that has to be 100% if we're going to use flash. Outdoors, it's a different story. I think part of that may be that the exposures are a little longer. I know technically flash does not, you know, have an exposure uh, or, you know, the shutter speed shouldn't matter for flash, but I think in this case it is kind of starting to perhaps. Um, and, and when I say that, I mean the difference in you take it and you open it up for a tenth of a second and it exposes the paper for a tenth of a second to a lot of light. But then here, it's just a quick pop and it's a two hundredth of a second. So I think even though the flash calculation is normal and I think over here, getting the exposure right, it is correct. But then it really starts to fall off once you start underexposing it. I didn't do any overexposure tests because the only way I can do that would have been to start putting the flash bulb progressively closer to the little fruit setup that I had. And that would have made it a little more difficult to keep it out of the frame and that sort of thing. So that's something that I need to think of. And if you want to use the Harman paper yourself, that's something you're going to have to think of with flash. You have to get the exposure correct. And I don't believe you can use a normal flash calculation. You know, I think you have to go full power and then, you know, calculate it from there. Because, like I said, using ISO 1, this image right here would be only a half a stop underexposed. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I calculated it a half a stop underexposed using ISO 2. Using ISO 1, this would be one and a half stops underexposed, but this is completely unusable. You can't do anything. And I had to go up two and a half stops over here just to get something that was somewhat usable. So it falls off a lot once we start doing it. And I know I've said that. I know I've said that a few times, but I'm really trying to make that point. This has no exposure latitude this photographic paper, the Harman direct positive paper, very little exposure latitude. I actually took two other exposures where I went down another stop and another stop after that. And I didn't even develop those. Those are just sitting still in the film holders because when I saw how dark this one was, I knew there was no point in even putting those into the developer because they were going to come out just straight black. Maybe, you know, right here, you can see where the, the flash bulb is reflecting off of the apple. So maybe in that case, there would be like a little something there, but there was going to be no detail in those. So, you know, for me, the bottom line for Harman direct positive paper is when using flash, ISO 1 and start at full power and then just work down from there just a little bit, maybe down to three quarters power, maybe down to half power, but it is going to require all the light that you have. And that's with a 500 watt second bulb that has a guide number of 365. There are not many flashes on the market that have more power than that. But, Back to the first image, I do like this. This was full power. And, you know, like I was saying, about a half a stop overexposed. 
And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos right here that I've done on Harmon Direct Positive Paper. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you again on the next one.